Hello and welcome to the first video on my new channel. In this video we will be taking a look at tritium. Tritium is otherwise known as hydrogen 3. It's a rare radioactive isotope of hydrogen and it's three of them bonded together. Now tritium releases a type of radiation called beta radiation. And inside these little vials is obviously a very, very small amount of tritium and a chemical called phosphors. Now this beta radiation causes the phosphors inside the actual the glass tube to glow. That's called radioluminescence. And what that means is that in the dark, these little vials of tritium will actually glow a green colour. You can get all sorts of different colour ones. They can come in blue and red and orange and purple, I believe. All sorts of all sorts of colours. Um, and they are quite cool little things, but they are radioactive. They are radioactive above normal background radiation levels. Now, I wouldn't usually wear gloves while I'm handling these because they aren't dangerous on the skin. They are relatively safe to handle and relatively safe, and I must add legal, to own. Now, the issue with tritium and why that I'm wearing the gloves is that these are kept in two small little vials, you can see rolling around on my glove. So the glass is actually, I believe, quite fragile in these vials. In most tritium key rings, glowing key rings that you can get, they're kept in quite thick glass or acrylic. Now the tritium, obviously, the radiation from the tritium can't get through the glass or acrylic plastic. But I think that if one of these were handled too um, too roughly, then I think it would crack. And if it cracked and went through my skin, it um, punctured the skin, the tritium going into the bloodstream can be quite dangerous because it cannot usually get through the skin, but it can be absorbed by the skin. And if it's absorbed and taken into the bloodstream, then it can do quite a lot of damage. Tritium's half-life is 12.3 years, so that's the amount of time it takes for the radioactivity levels to drop to half of the original radioactivity. In the body, this is reduced to 10 days, kind of. The biological half-life of tritium is 10 days, so that's the amount of time that it takes for the radioactivity of the tritium inside of the body to decrease to, ha to half. Now that's actually quite... 10 days might not seem like a, a high amount, but for a radioactive substance, that's quite high. Most chemical markers, radioactive markers, used uh, for medicines and inside the body as dyes, have half-lives of usually hours, maybe maybe a day or two, but usually hours, and that's so that it can decrease by half, then half again, half again, half again, and can be expelled completely from the body without doing hopefully too much damage. And that is why tritium can be dangerous inside the body, because if it gets in, 10 days to decrease to half is a lot. It will take 20 days to decrease to a quarter of what it would usually be, and in that 20 days it can do quite a lot of damage in terms of uh, mutating cells and things like that. So I'm only wearing gloves so that it does not get through the skin, does not break and does not get absorbed by my skin, and it would do damage. Now, tritium is, as I said earlier, a rare radioactive isotope. That means that it's found very rarely in nature by itself. So this tritium would have likely come from a byproduct of a nuclear reactor by the neutron activation of lithium-6. It's, uh, sorry, let me put the camera back. It's extracted and processed, and you get a very little amount of it. You get a ridiculously low amount, because it's a gas. And to be condensed into these little tubes is quite expensive. The tritium itself is expensive,
and the processing makes it even more expensive. So as you can see, these are tiny little vials. They are, if I put it one on my finger, ridiculously small. And I paid about £7 each for these, which is a lot. But they are used more commonly outside of these glass tubes in things like watches and, as I said earlier, key rings. And the watches are usually put on the hands, so you can see where the hands are in relation to the clock, which I think is quite cool. And more dangerously, uh, they are used in nu nuclear weapons to increase the efficiency and the yield and things like that. I'm, I'm obviously I'm no nuclear weapons expert, so I don't know exactly what they're used for in terms of weaponry. But I know that they are used to increase efficiency, efficiency, and things like that. They're quite cool little vials. Um, they're quite expensive. You can get longer ones. You can get bigger ones. Um, but obviously they get very ridiculously expensive. And now I know you will want to see these glowing, and I'll add that little clip in now, glowing right here. They are very, very bright, as you can see. Right, so as you can see, they've been glowing. And they will glow like that for years, completely years. As I said, the half-life is 12.3 years. And so that should mean that in 12.3 years from, obviously, when it was um, tubed up like this, from when, it was, from when it was created, the glow will decrease to half. Now, that means that they'll still be glowing for likely hundreds of years, which I think is very, very cool. But thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell icon and share to all of your friends for more videos that we'll have like these. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.